time in YouTube and welcome back to Deck Wizard. Today we are going to bring a Pokemon that has been in many of our decks, has been shining the light since Breakthrough came out, but you know he hasn't actually been in the spotlight himself. And that Pokemon is going to be Octillery. Now this Pokemon is amazing as a support card. He has 90 HP, he's a stage 1, and he has Abyssal Hand. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have 5 cards in hand. He is an amazing support card. He also has Hug for 2 Water Energy, 1 Colorless, he can do 40 damage, and the defending Pokemon can't retreat on their next turn. We've seen what that can do with Aromatisse. But I try not to use it too much. Not not in these next couple games. So we're going to build a deck with the deck wizard based around artillery. I want to know what the deck wizard's thinking when it comes to support. So without any further ado, we are going to get onto this artillery and we're going to hit that button and make a deck. All right, after being randomized, here's the deck that we were given. We have one in one line of the Mega Kangaskhan line. Not bad at all. We get to draw three cards. I can't guarantee we're going to use the Mega Kangaskhan line too much, but it's there for support. We have one Shaman. Perfectly good for setup. More cards, it's more cards. It's always meaning we will always have something in our hand. I'm happy to say that the Glalie EX and Mega Glalie EX, well, that's still a Glalie EX. <laughs> There's the Mega Glalie. They're making a comeback. We're going to see if they can win us a couple more games. We have Kirim EX for that Glaciate and the Ice Caliber, keeping our opponents frozen for a turn if necessary. We have four. Uh, I guess it's four and four of the Octillery line, which is awesome. I know I'm going to probably grab one. I'm going to be able to evolve it. No problem. And for the Pokemon's final, we have Seismitoad EX. We have three of these, so item locking can be very crucial to stalling out our opponent, getting our other Pokemon set up. We have four energy recyclers, so if we do need to sack off some energy, we're not afraid to get them back. We have an escape rope, only one of them, but if Octillery does make it into the uh, active position, we can get him out of there. We have three Pokemon captures. These are the item-based Lysander, so I get to switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of his or her bench. I'm not sure if it was a Rattid that it's a flip of a coin, but based on what I'm seeing right now, it's an instance. We're not using this card. I know it's in the deck, I'm probably not going to use it. This card is terrible, in my opinion. If you guys use it, let me know why you use it and how beneficial it's been. Let me see a game. Definitely. As far as I know, this card isn't very good to me. I can't see flipping a coin and if getting heads. I can search a deck I know for any card I want and put it on top of my deck. So I don't get it that turn. If I'm forced to shuffle from a judge, I lose the card anyway. I've had to gamble by flipping a coin. I did, that doesn't make sense to me. Judge is here four times, meaning I can reshuffle my hand if it's bad. I force my opponent to go back down to four cards. And Octillery likes this because I can still draw an additional card on top of this. Perfect. I love it. We have two Wallies. Get those Mega Evolutions off turn one if necessary. This lets us set up on a turn, we could potentially... Oh, sorry, I can't evolve Mega Pokemon. Never mind, never mind. I forgot one of Wally's things. I can at least evolve Octillery turn one. Perfect. We have a Parallel City. I'm not going to be using it. Now, again, don't get me wrong. Parallel City is a really cool niche card. But. But. It's not going to work when I have a water deck and I need a bench of Pokemon to set things up. It's not going to do very well. Team Magma's Secret Base is interesting though. Now it does damage us a little bit, but it does put pressure on our opponent. By doing 20 damage to 
each of their Pokemon entering. Lastly, we have three hard charms and 20 wire. <sighs> Why do I get tired every episode? Why? It's like a common thing for me. Here, guys, watch the guy who yawns every episode. How rude. I am so sorry. Anyway, 20 water energy rounds out the deck. So we are going to save it. We are going to do the regular routine of DW Octillery. I spelled it right. I will pick a water-based coin, and I don't have one. Do I have that? No, 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 no. There we go. We can use Swamper. All right. We're going to save it. Deck is saved. Right. Without any further ado, though, we're going to get into a game. That's not games. That's the wrong folder. This one. This one. All right. Our first opponent's going to be Ouroboros. Seven, 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 seven. Did I miss one? Maybe. Sorry, Betty. That's a lot of sevens. We get to call the coin toss, and it's going to be tails. We win this coin toss. And being as we're most likely going to be slow, I am going to play first. We are going to see no basics in our hands, so let's pass that turn over. We're going to wait for our opponent to set himself up nice, neat, clean. Maybe. Maybe he's not going to play any either. No, he has a basic Pokemon. He has a bench Pokemon. He has prizes. We don't have prizes yet. So we are going to redraw this hand. He's going to get an additional card. And I get Shaman. This is all I got. It's all I got. I want to start. Just Shaman. There are so many water Pokemon in this deck. Why Shaman? All right. So, going to start with a... I guess I can start with dropping a water energy on Shaman because there's nothing else that needs it. I will be judging, so his hand is going to drop, and I'm going to Team Magma Base. Yeah, sure, it's going to hold up a lot of pressure on my side. But it's forcing him to take damage as well. And from the looks of it, he's playing Fairy. So it could be an interesting deck. I'm going to just get the Kangaskhan onto the bench. We're going to Reserve Ticket. Oh, wow. We actually got the heads. Mm. Who do I want to go into, though? I do want to get a Remory going, so let's get that going. He's the star of this deck anyway. So next turn, I'll draw a Remoraid, and that'll be the turn. Next turn, I can Sky Return, go into the Kangaskhan, maybe get some... Uh, I can Energy Recycle those two energies back in. There's options. We're going to see an energy hit the Eevee, though, and that means Sylveon is on its way, and he's actually going to prevent me from attacking. He's going to force the Curly Ribbon, which means energy's onto uh, Kangaskhan, which is fine. I can then safely energy drop. We're going to retreat, go into Kangaskhan, and we are going to triple draw. We got some water energy. I can still continue up the draw. Can we match the speed of a fairy deck with our deck wizard theme deck? No, I really don't think so. Eevee, you take a 20. Fine by me. Shauna is going to give him more cards. I'm just going to lower them back down with Judge. I don't need a lot of the cards in my hand. And to be honest with you... Getting a few more things is a little bit more viable. So that water energy is going to hit most likely the Remorade. Not really necessary. It's hitting the Remorade. Good pick. We are getting a Curum. He's taking 20 damage. We're going to continue with this triple draw action after we judge. We have an escape rope. We're going to play down another seismitoad. And we are... Oh, I've already played a water energy. I was going to play another one, but obviously I can't. We're going to triple draw, get a couple more cards. We do have that artillery now, so I can evolve. 
potentially starts uh, stalling out with the Seismitoad. But he does have another Sylveon on deck. No energies in hand, hopefully. Because he played that as a regular man would. By a regular evolution. None of this energy evolution. None of it. We're seeing a Fairy Garden, so no more damage onto our Pokemon. Alright, Spritzy, you're up. But I think I've stalled him a little bit. I think I've stalled him a little bit. Those judges definitely helped out keeping his deck at bay. Oh, nope, there's an energy. So he's going to Curly Ribbon. And he is most likely going to set up the water energy onto Octillery. Octillery, here's your water. Here's your evolution, my friend. We are going to start setting up... We are going to start setting up Curum. And... Do I judge? Yeah. Let's do it. I know escape rope's in the deck now, so I'm not too threatened by it. I got a bunch of random Pokemon. So, let's get Remoraid up there. We're going to Abyssal Hand. Even if we lose games, guys, Octillery is coming through. He is leading these teams into greatness. Unfortunately, though, I cannot make a play. Kangaskhan, thank you for all the cards. You're probably going to go down shortly, unless I can escape rope you out. But I do want to set up Kyurem for four energy. As I will not be able to knock out a bunch of cards early enough. Oh, he's setting up Xerneas now. I can probably switch in now. If I can get that Parallel City. We're going to see that Florja CX, who's a beautiful full art, has two energies now on it. It's completely set up, ready to go. Unlike us, who is completely thrown back. Water energy on to Kiram. Let's do it. All right, Judge, it's all up to you. Get me some cards. Got me a lolly. That's useless. Uh, I'm going to Pokemon capture you. And I, never mind, fail. See what I mean, though? As much as the card didn't showcase it, it was a coin flip. Uh, there are... Get off the screen. There is only one water energy, so it is not time to use the energy recycler. I will... S Abyssal Hand, get me some more cards! Yes! Not what I want. More energy recyclers. I know there's four of them in the deck, but there is gotta be something I can use. <coughs> but I can at least glaciate next turn. If I can switch. Which I probably can't. I'm probably gonna stall out the entire time with Kangaskhan. He's just going to grab all that energy out of his deck with Xerneas. And we might be in a bit of a pickle. Now that he has Aromatisse out though. Or, yeah, that's the one. With Fairy Transfer. He's going to transfer an energy onto Xerneas. And it's going to be a simple switch. Knock out Kangaskhan. Clean sweep. Right there. I would have actually evolved the damaged one. But you never know. Anyway, now that he's fairy transferred, all his Pokemon are set up. Rainbow Spear is going to knock out Kangaskhan. And I will bring back my Kiram. Or, er, sorry, I will bring out Kiram. He can't knock me out as far as I'm aware. So I'm safe to attach an energy. And it will do 30 to all his Pokemon, which will knock out this poor little Spritzy here. We will go with the additional Remorade. I will Energy Recycler. Bring back this one energy back into the deck. I will Wally, because there's no other options. And I will get a third Octillery. Guys, Octillery, you're here to stay. You're doing your job. Give me more cards. A lot more Water Energy and another Remorade. Hmm... Glaciate. So we're going to get our first prize. It's a nice 30 to everything. I will probably take the next couple turns. Set up uh, Seismitoad. 
get him going. As most of the other Pokemon on the opponent's side will have... Oh wow, he's actually going to bridge it for one additional card. It's a Gardevoir. Ew. He can switch in. He can damage me all at once. It's going to come in clutch. There's the energies going onto the Gardevoir. I can't... I can't see us, uh, it's just not looking pretty here. This is a game that's just saying, hey, look, I'm pretty in pink. I'm female. You're male. And I'm going to smack you in the... Yeah. <laughs> Xerneas is actually going to Geomancy again. Which gives it the opportunity to, uh, get more cards. And more energy out of the deck means he may have the ability to get to Mega Guard of War. But he is searching. There's the energy. There's one. And there's the second one. Alright. We have a Mega Kangaskhan, which I do not need. We are going to energy drop there. I have no more cards I can play, so I am going to go for the Glacy 8. Which is actually cleaning up some uh, Pokemon here, because if he can't... If he can't knock me out, I don't think he can knock me out. Unless he can Mega Evolve. There's the switch. Are you going to Life Leap or Shining Wind? You have no weakness. I, I understand that. You're attaching more energy. Why? I assume he understands that some of the Pokemon are going to go down. It's holding six energy right now. He's continuing this fairy transfer. He doesn't want to give up all of these Pokemon. He's going to Eva Soda. But you're going to Mega Evolve and just sit there. Interesting. Alright, it was actually a good play. I will set up for the Grenade Hammer on the following turn. We should be able to... 3, 6... Ah, uh, we might be just a little short. But we are going to claim three prizes here. Three prizes. There we are. We have a Pokemon Catcher, so I actually can win if we can scoop up Florges. That is actually insane here. We have the Water Energy for the Grenade Hammer. It's going to do 130. We can knock out Florges EX. There it is, folks. Kyurem is gone. Now, Seismitoad, you are our win condition here. Has Octillery given you the arsenal of cards you need to win this game? It's all a matter of this Pokemon capture. Nope. Sorry, it didn't work out. Man, those coin flips don't like us. We are going to go for that grenade hammer. I'll do 30 to you and 30 to this poor Octillery over here. Sadly, though... He has got way more energy than even necessary to knock out my good old Seismitoad. So, this game goes to the fairies. I'm proud of it, though. We did a fantastic job. We put in a lot of pressure. We got rid of... We claimed three prizes in one turn. Like, that is awesome. And we were set up for a win. If those Pokemon uh, captures were Lysanders... He would have lost. Guaranteed. That wouldn't have even been an issue. Would not have been an issue. I don't know why he's not just going for the attack. He's got way more... Uh, not even necessary. He's got 3 by is 100... 180. Which I already taken 20. What? You could have ended this game. Why didn't you go for the attack? I don't understand.
I'm kind of at a loss for words. Now, if I had another Pokemon capture, I'd play it. But, uh, sadly I don't. So there's another card. Trying to uh, cycle out some of these cards if I can. One, one and done. Oh, I actually have to get all of them. So there we go. I will go with this. I actually think the smart move would be to hug. And keep this Pokemon in the active position. We're going to retreat. And we are going to go for the hug. No retreating for our opponent. You are at 40. Now, I do need three turns. I need to be able to... Oh, oh, ha ha. Fool, fool on you. I'm not after that Florges. I'm after your active. There's another Florges. You cannot retreat. Scratch that. Yes, you can. You're going to knock out my artillery. And that will not gain you really any momentum. Well, it gives you enough momentum. I can't. I don't know why that Gardevoir didn't knock out Seismitoad. It's annoying me, actually. I... 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 Like, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to quit the game, but at the same point, he should have knocked me out. This could have ended three turns ago. Uh... I don't know what to say. Now, Kirami X put in the work. Great. It, we actually had a great momentum in this game where we were doing 30 damage to everything. We had the opportunity to win. We almost got the win again. Now, he had a switch in hand, which I'm actually surprised he is running because he's running the stadium as well. Um, but needless to say, we can try one more game. And this time, we're actually going to play Paimon Ken, or however you pronounce that. Why do people have names I can't pronounce? It makes it really difficult to showcase your name. Uh, we lose a coin flip, that's all right. He's going to play first, and we have a... Ooh, we got Kirim to start, but I'm actually going to start with Kangaskhan. Get Kangaskhan rolling. We're going to attach an energy to it. Kind of let's get a set up while Kiram actually comes in. Oh no, not Lucario. My poor, poor Kangaskhan. You don't even see this coming. You didn't even see this coming. Well, I'm going to give you a hard charm. We're going to attach an energy. We're actually going to give you the hard charm as well. And we're going to go for that triple draw. We need three cards. So we get a parallel city. We get an artillery and a Wally. -E. So if I can get a Ramorade, I will be able to evolve it immediately. Not with the one in hand, but with the one potentially in the deck. So we're going to see 60, which will be reduced to 40, which will actually be 80. No, wrong. It's 100. So 140. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a strong energy. I can't see this game going very well for us. I just can't. Energy drop onto Kiram. I can't see us lasting that long at all. I'm going to attempt to Pokemon capture again with the tails. I haven't gotten a single Pokemon capture to work yet. What a terrible card. Triple draw. That's all I have the option to do. We're getting artillery perfectly, but no Remoraid! Mmm. Consistency. Uh, Dick Wizard, you don't have it. Last game we were doing awesome! This game... 
You're kind of hitting the corkscrews. All right, so he's taking two prizes. Kiram's up. I have no more basics. I got one more water energy, which we will play. Um, I'm going to attempt to Pokemon capture again. Another Tails! Oh my god! <laughs> Luck, come on. I have to end the turn, and I can only Glaciate next turn, so that's a whopping 30. He has 180! Doesn't matter. That's 120. Oh, I apologize. It's 100 because of the hard charm. Water energy onto the Kiram, and we are going for the Judge! Yes, I am sure. The cards in hand were awful. Octillery is back in our hand. I have a Pokemon capture. Can I bring in Cubone? No! Seriously! Let's escape room. Bring in Cubone. Bring in Cubone. Bring in Cubone. Cubone. I'm not getting a Cubone. 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 All right. 30 damage across the board. He's going to probably steaming mad me for next turn. And I just, I literally just knocked myself out here. Really? That's game. Wow, that was quick. Wow, we got decimated. And wow, Octillery, you never made it to the board. Let's have another game just for fun. That was excitingly bad. And our final game of the day is going to be against Mahdi543, playing a grass, fire, water, dragon deck. I don't know what he's going to play today. Not a clue. I don't know. I don't know what he's got. We get the coin. Toss. And we win it. About the only thing we win in these games. Uh, yes. Turn one. Give me the turn. All right. We have a Seismitoad, so we are going to start with that. Turn two, we will be able to Quaking Punch and start damaging our opponent. And then the following turn, I might even be able to knock him out with a Grenade Hammer. He has a Chest Pin. I'm not going to play that. We are going to attach a Hard Charm, Water Energy, and I'm going to keep my hand. As much as I do like to judge and get my opponent down early, I have pretty much everything I need to survive. He didn't play any bench Pokemon. Not to say he didn't have them. He has a muscle ban. This is this could do a lot of damage. Or it could do nothing. He needs an energy drop. This guy may have a dead hand. He has a fire energy. Okay. I'm going to item lock you here. No items. Perfect. I got one turn to go. This chessman is going down. He needs a benched Pokemon. He needs a benched Pokemon. Oh my god. Did we seriously just knock you out with Quaking Punch? Wow. Wow. Miracles do happen. I'm gonna end it there, folks. Um. Octillery wasn't necessary. Seismitoad, he just proved Chespin, you're a punching bag. Um I uh yeah, I don't have much to say about that one. That was just really quick. Why fire energy? Um <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you had a decent time with this. Remember, deck wizard decks aren't meant to be the best at comp competition. We're just supposed to showcase the card that we pick. Octillery did that in the first game. Didn't come out so much in the second or the third. Okay. It was a one-third of the game, but you know what? We tried. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment for sure. And we'll see you guys next time. I am sure the next deck wizard deck will be different for you guys. So until then, though, time out.